This is Jenny Gown, Eye Surgeon Talks. I thought I would do a series of questions from patients um, because this is obviously of great interest um, because these are questions that my patients actually bring to me and they tend to come up again and again um, with similar eye conditions in similar situations. Um, and so if I can address them here, hopefully that will be of help. People don't always necessarily remember what's said in the clinic. It's sort of a high stress environment, there's lots going on. So here's the information again. And if you find your questions in, in, this, in these videos, uh, I'll be very happy. Uh, please feel free uh, to put down in the comments any questions you might want answering. Uh, and I'll do my best to address those. So, for the first questions from patients, um, I want to talk about when patients come in after having eye surgery saying, I can't see. And this happens all the time with my retinal patients because I do my best to explain to them before surgery that they will not be able to see after the operation for a few days to a few weeks because of the air and gas bubble that we use inside the eye after the operation. And I explain, look, the vision's going to be super blurry and it's going to get gradually better. But you don't necessarily take this in before the operation. There's lots of information. You're quite stressed out. And people do forget. And then when they come out of surgery and they take their eye patch off and they can't see, and it's panic mode. So why can't I see after my retinal operation? It's probably because you've got an air bubble or a gas bubble. Or in some cases, for example, some diabetic uh, operations, um, it's very common to have a bleed in the eye after surgery. That's another reason why you may not be able to see. Now, all of these, they usually settle with time and we don't need to do anything extra. We just need to get a little bit of patience and wait for things to get better by themselves gradually. Um, there are obviously other uh, situations when loss of vision could be a big problem after surgery. Um, this will typically be associated with either pain or a reduction in vision. So where you started to see better and then the vision went down again. So any of those symptoms, you should flag up to your surgeon straight away. Uh, 